Hello Channel 48 friends and family, my name is Acer E520, the Linux laptop voice, of the Channel 48 Puck Darlington created and reviewed laptop you saw some days ago. Thanks for tuning in. We're gonna listen to Miss Goji speaker to learn more about this great Linux phone, mic to Miss Goji. Thanks so much E520, welcome to the podcast listeners. Today we bring you the latest news about the Purism Linux smartphone that might come anytime soon. Let's head over to the news. August 24, 2017 Purism unveils plans to build Librem 5, the world's first encrypted open smartphone ecosystem giving users complete device control security focused laptop maker launches crowdfunding campaign to gauge market demand and feature requests to begin fabrication san francisco Kalof, August 24, 2017, Purism, the social purpose corporation which designs and produces popular privacy-conscious hardware and software, has revealed its plans to build the world's first encrypted, open-platform smartphone that will empower users to protect their digital identity in an increasingly unsafe mobile world. After 18 months of R&D to test hardware specifications and engage with one of the largest phone fabricators, Purism is opening a self-hosted crowdfunding campaign to gauge demand for the initial fabrication order and add the features most important to users. The plans to build the Libre M5 smartphone come on the tails of Purism opening general availability and inventory for its increasingly popular Libre M laptop line in June 2017, which includes the Libre M13 and Libre M15 laptop models and has seen 35% average monthly growth in the past year. Partnering with Open Source Communications Project Matrix, Purism is making the Libre M5 the first ever matrix-powered smartphone, natively using end-to-end encrypted decentralized communication in its dialer and messaging app. Matrix is an open ecosystem for interoperable encrypted communication, supporting a rapidly growing community of over 2 million users for VoIP and Slack-style messaging. Big news! We're super excited to pre-announce the world's first ever Matrix native smartphone, the Puri.sm Libre M5. HTTPS colon slash slash t dot co slash me 7 al sol od matrix at matrix.org August 24th, 2017 As increasing concern among Android and iOS users grow around personal data they give up through Wi-Fi connections, application installations and basic location services. Purism hopes to address those concerns by manufacturing phones that will operate with free, Libra and open source software within the kernel, the operating system, and all software applications. Purism has built a strong reputation within the new, Linux community by delivering laptops designed to specifically meet user concern about digital privacy, chip by chip, line by line, to respect our common rights to privacy, security, and freedom. Starting at $599, less than the cost of many popular smartphones, the Libre M5 will give users unprecedented control and security with features unavailable on any other mainstream smartphone, including make encrypted calls that mask your phone number, encrypt texts and emails, set up VPN services for enhanced web browsing protection, use the phone on any 2G, 3G, 4G, GSM, UMTS, or LTE network editor develop on the source code, which will be made publicly available run Purios the most new plus Linux distributions enable hardware kill switches for the camera, microphone, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and baseband, I believe digital rights should mirror physical rights. Our Libre M5 phone will get humanity closer to that goal by giving people choices about how they want to protect or share their digital identity, said Todd Weaver, founder and CEO of Purism. 
Purism has been doing genuine and important work around making truly free yet desirable laptops. The communities I work with would very much like to see the same philosophy replicated in a phone that runs a GNOME-based stack where community members can participate in equal terms and that ensures respect for the user's privacy and security, said Alberto Ruiz. GNOME and Fedora laptop enablement. While pulling this off is hard, Todd seems like someone who sincerely cares about these issues and has a great track record executing. I think the efforts of purism deserve the support of the free software community. A veteran of successful crowdfunding campaigns with more than $2.5 million raised over the past two years. Purism is self-hosting the Librem 5 crowdfunding effort on their website. Users can back the project here, https colon slash slash puri dot sm slash shop slash librem dash five media contact Marie Williams. Coderella, Purism plus one, four one five, six eight nine, four oh two nine PR at puri dot sm. Purism is a startup that sells a couple of laptops that ship with free and open source software and tools that give users more control over their privacy and security. Now Purism is hoping to do the same thing with a smartphone. After announcing last year that the corporation was considering building a smartphone, Purism is making it official. Its first smartphone will be called the Purism Librem 5 and it'll sell for $599 and up, with an estimated ship date of January, 2019. Purism is launching a crowdfunding campaign today, and the team is outlining some of the things they're planning to do with the phone. They should sound familiar to anyone who's watched the corporation's efforts in the laptop space. First up, the Librem 5 will run Purio's software, which is a free and open-source new, Linux-based operating system. Although users will also be able to install a different new, Linux distro if they choose, and if they can find one that supports the hardware. Second, there's an emphasis on privacy and security with features including support for making encrypted phone calls that mask your phone number encrypted text and email support VPN support editable source code hardware kill switches for the camera microphone and wireless features so they're only on when you want them to be on purism founder Todd Weaver says the software will have a user interface that's based on the GNOME desktop environment but he doesn't have much to say at this point about how the phone's basic functionality will compare with Android, iOS, or other mobile platforms. At this point, the focus is on offering a functional alternative to those largely proprietary operating systems. Yes, Android is open source, but only when Google decides to release the code and much of the core functionality of Google's mobile operating system has been moved to proprietary components such as the Google Services Framework in recent years. The Librem 5 might not be able to run the millions of mobile-optimized apps that are available on competing platforms on day 1, or day 500 most likely. Purism is playing up the fact that the phone will support web apps including YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and MLB. But if it makes phone calls, sends text messages and email, surfs the web, and plays music and videos, I'm sure there's a niche market for a phone that does all of those things and puts users in control of every aspect of the OS. Whether there are enough people in that niche market willing to pay $599 or more for a phone that fits that description remains to be seen. But it sounds like after gathering feedback from potential customers, Weaver figures it's at least worth a shot. Since the Librem 5 is basically running a mobile-optimized version of a desktop operating system, you can also use it as a desktop when you connect a keyboard, mouse, and monitor. 
Purism wouldn't be the first organization with plans to build a phone that runs a mobile-friendly version of a new Linux operating system originally designed for desktops. But Canonical has pretty much given up on developing Ubuntu for phones. Meanwhile, Samsung's latest Android phones do have some desktop-like functionality when used with a Samsung DeX docking station. And the handful of people using Windows 10 mobile phones with supported hardware can make use of the company's continuum for phone software to use their phones like pseudo desktop PCs. It's worth noting that Purism isn't committing to shipping a phone with no proprietary code. While the CPU, GPU, and bootloader will all work with free software, Purism is still evaluating potential Wi Fi and Bluetooth chips and firmware. The plan is currently to invest time and money toward freeing any non free firmware, but it's possible the phone might ship with some proprietary blobs to support some hardware components. The Libre M5 will likely ship with an NXPI, MX6 or a MX8 ARM-based processor. It will have Vivante graphics, 3GB of RAM, 32GB VMMC storage, a microSD card slot, front and rear cameras, a headphone jack, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, a USB and a mic and speakers hooked up to kill switches. Purism says the phone supports GSM, UMTS, and LTE networks. In addition to the $599 phone option, crowdfunding campaign backers can pledge $299 for a developer kit that should ship about half a year sooner, in June 2018. There are also options for Libre M5 phones bundled with a keyboard mouse and monitor to allow you to use the system as a desktop. With prices starting at $1,399, it's probably cheaper to bring your own monitor, unless you just want to overpay to help fund the project. Purism says if the Libre M5 project doesn't hit its crowdfunding goal of $1.5 million, the company will scrap the project and issue refunds to backers. Let's listen to some facts about the Librem 5 Linux smartphone, and what operating system can it run, can it run Android apps etc etc. Find out by Miss Golgi. Thanks again Acer E520, here are some quick facts. Does not run Google Android. Does not run Apple iOS. Runs Purios by default, can run most new plus Linux distributions. World's first ever IP native mobile handset. End to end decentralized communications via matrix, 5 inches screen. Security focused by design. Privacy protection by default. Works with 2G, 3G, 4G, GSM, UMTS, and LTE networks. CPU separate from baseband. Hardware kill switches for camera, microphone, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and baseband. Competitive chart, privacy, security, freedom, purism, purios, Apple, iOS, Google, Android, user controls, device, yes, no, no, trackers, disabled by default, yes, no, no, privacy, protection by default, yes, no, no, does not track you, yes, no, no, layered. Security protection yes no no user controlled source code yes no no runs new plus Linux yes no no separates CPU from cellular baseband yes no no IP native communication first yes no no decentralized communication by default yes no no why purism purism has built and delivered laptops successfully for over two years and is now ready to begin development on a phone product. We are focusing on creating a secure communication device, and will continually expand the product through software with community and developer support. Purism Todd Weaver Shenzhen China CPU fusing options The first version will be capable of voice calling, video, camera, messaging, email, and web browsing. 
expanding quickly to include the thousands of productivity, gaming, graphics, and photography applications already in Purios. By creating a phone that supports an open community-driven development environment, we can change the future of computing to be respectful of your digital life. Thanks so much Miss Goji and listeners. Thanks for listening and watching this fully digital podcast with Rod powered by Acapella Box and Miss Golgi, powered by Google. Please share this podcast and subscribe to Channel 48. Don't forget to hit the bell to get informed about our daily uploads. Peace.